It is because to a large extent our industrial future rests in the hands of the National Coal Board and because they have our complete confidence, I offer to Lord Hindley and his colleagues our goodwill and to all concerned in this great task, the best wishes for their success. <laughs> and now, Lord Hindley, it affords me <coughs> considerable satisfaction to hand to you a beautifully bound copy of the um, Coal Industry Nationalization Act. This is uh, the symbol of the uh, property rights invested in the National Coal Board. You, sir, whom I have known for many years and whose friendship I value, have our complete confidence. You are, from now onward, the custodian of the national interest as regards the provision of coal. I have not the least doubt that you will achieve considerable success. At any rate, you have our goodwill. I have the utmost pleasure in handing this copy of the Act to you. First of all, thank you, Mr. Schimbaugh, for this magnificent copy of the Act, and to assure you that it will be very carefully preserved. I realize it's a token of the passing of the industry to the nation. My colleagues and I are deeply conscious of the great and honorable trust which has today been placed in us. The trust we accept and we cheerfully take up, take upon ourselves the heavy burdens it entails. We know that the country looks to us to accomplish much. That which unremitted effort <coughs> and high endeavor can accomplish shall be accomplished. I would like to thank you, sir for the very kind things you've said. I'd like to thank the Prime Minister and his colleagues particularly for honoring us as they have this morning. And all I will say is we will do our very best. Yes. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have the utmost... <laughs> Minister, Lord Hindley and gentlemen, I'm very glad to be here to wish you all a happy new year and a prosperous new year and to offer my best wishes to the National Coal Board and to all those concerned in the operation of this great industry on this, the first day of a new era. It is a member... I say simple advisedly, uh, and uh, the ceremony is now at an end. I offer my humble thanks to all who have attended here this morning, and our gratitude to all who have assisted us in the past. We hope for your full cooperation in the future. And with the Prime Minister, I wish you all a happy new year. But we have made amends recently, both in the matter of reforms introduced and promised. A new wages structure is to be negotiated. Paid statutory holidays have already been conceded. Substantial measures have been instituted to improve pithead medical services. These made um, every endeavor to promote reorganization in that part of the industry with which they were concerned. 
purpose. What is our purpose? It is to bring about a complete <coughs> reorganization of the industry, to provide the most modern equipment, and uh, in particular, to promote a new atmosphere of friendly relations under the supervision of the National Coal Board. A view of recent happenings, little or nothing, it would not buy in the world today. There are many problems facing the Coal Board, some short-term, <coughs> others of a long-term character. But in the interests of our country, every effort must be made to solve them. and gentlemen. Uh, this is a memorable occasion. Um, after <coughs> long years of agitation, uh, we have reached the culmination of our efforts. And I should like to begin with to pay a humble tribute uh, to the um, pioneers in the uh, labor and trade union movement who were inspired with the idea of nationalization long years ago. I mention, in particular, Keir Hardy and Robert Smurley. And there were many others who participated in that memorable agitation. I should also like to pay my respects to those enlightened <coughs> 